for your testimonies and your reports. I'm uh, very thankful that this was added to the renewal. This is something new, and um, it's very refreshing to see God working in, in all the different fellowships and all the different ministries. Now, I'm going to, this is a time of exhortation. This is new, too. It's not new to us. We have a lot of exhortations. Um, I've come to find that it's needful, that the people of God need to be exhorted to take the things that God's given them, but we usually exhort after we've had someone ex open up the scriptures, after they've preached, after they've shown us something about God, then we have an exhortation to take a hold of that. Don't let it fall to the ground, brethren. So I'm going to exhort you today. Now, you've heard a lot of things. And I'm going to tell you that not one thing that you've heard is an accessory, something that you can let go. You're going to need everything that's been ministered. God's going to lead you now through paths where you're going to be able to draw on what's been said, not just in these meetings. I'm talking about the word of God in you as you walk wherever God's leading you, you're going to need. Now, now the good news is that he's given you the gift of the Holy Spirit, right? Now, what's the Holy Spirit do? He's been given that we might know the things that are freely ours in Christ, right? So as you've heard Christ expounded, as you've heard the gospel of the kingdom opened up, it's going to enable you to be able to be profitable servants as you go out into the world, go out into the highways and byways, right? You're going to be a more effective minister. And, we, and this is the confidence that we have, that Christ Jesus is in you. It's not like he's like saying, all right, you got everything you need. See you later. <laughs> no, that isn't the way it is at all, right? And I know we all know this, but we all need to be comforted, exhorted. God's in you, and he's, he doesn't, he's not content to just have you lay down and say, oh, that was nice. No, see, and I know, see, everyone who has the Holy Spirit uses the Holy Spirit, right? Or you don't have them very long. The Holy Spirit is in order that, that you could be an effective minister of what God's given you. Amen. So see, this will work. This will work. As you go out, you don't have to plan ahead. I don't see Paul saying, where's my itinerary? It was like a live thing. So see, as, you, as, as we go out and, and, and God will make the arrangements for you, you'll encounter someone. Sometimes Brother Boyce tells me about his encounters and I'm just, I say, Lord, open up some doors for me. Uh, I want to have more of these encounters when my faith affects someone else. When the Holy Spirit is working through what you know. It's, I mean, I, I, we know a lot of things. But it's in order that we might use them for the Lord, right? Now, I know we all know this. But an exhortation doesn't, ex, doesn't presume that you know these things. It's, it's going to exhort you to put your hand to the plow. And when you do, when you extend yourself for God, I guarantee you the Holy Spirit will enable you. The grace that God's given you will get to work, and it'll get it done. You'll plow straighter rows. You'll get more done for Christ than you did before. And so I praise God for the, for the advantage that he's given me in meeting with all of you, brethren, and watching you, seeing you grow. This has been a great benefit to me, and I'm, I'm just so thankful to the Lord for doing this for us. And um, I, I don't know, maybe I just pray. I want to pray for us. I want to pray for us that, um, that God will use this, use this meetings, use the things that he's given us in these last three days to, to be a, a kingdom warrior, to be someone that enters into the battle, you know, cast down imaginations in other people and any high thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of Christ. Let's, let us do the work of evangelism. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, um, you've given us a lot of things in the last three days, a lot of 
the brethren have, have expounded your word. And Father, you've answered our prayers and you've given them grace to be able to speak in an orderly manner, in a, in a very lively manner, and in the spirit of you, Father, we're asking, Lord, that you would now enter into this exhortation, that, Father, you would help us in, um, to be able to spot opportunities. Help us, Father, to be able to, um, to, to do the work that you've laid in, in, in our hands, Father. Uh, we, uh, we don't presume on any of these things. We know that we need you with us in order for this to be done. And so, Father, I'm going to ask you now, Lord, to send, to send souls our way. Help us, Father, to be able to share the things you've given us with the brethren, with those that are um, on the, uh, without, and anyone, Father, that you bring in our path. We ask, Father, that you would, you would do the preliminary work and you would help us, Father, to be uh, good workers together with you. In your son's name, amen.